What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here and welcome to another episode of the Circle of Rouge Career Mode series. We are making some significant progress in not only the league, but also as a unit and a team. Hopefully our youth scouts will return some even better players, but... We're first two scouts, we'll see. Second scout, we will not, because we are going to be facing Genk, or Ghent. And then that, I mean, we're pretty much at the tail end of the season right now. It has been quite the journey, quite the season. It's not over yet, we're, we're two points off of a top four spot, and... European football. I would absolutely love it if we could be in the, even the Europa League next year. I'm promoting Dirks and Burks and David. Um, I'll also promote Chopis, but before I forget. I have to put Choppus on loan. Choppin, choppin, choppin. The short French striker. Well, actually, I'm going to convert him to a midfielder. Mm, he's a righty. We'll go left midfield. I know. So, yeah, we will go left mid. And we'll also add him to the loan list. We have numerous players out on loan. Alright, so here we got. So none of our uh, other players we just signed were anything too special, too significant. All right, we have a game. All right, first we gotta deal with Chopis. Yeah, dude, you're just gonna go out on loan for a season just because you have potential. You can develop. I just don't have a reason to really keep you around right now. So, one player I was considering signing instead of Ida was actually... Oh, I, was, I didn't think about it at first, but once I did, I thought it was an amazing idea. Was to get Troy Dini. However, he ended up signing with Ghent. So, that is why... A little upset we could not somehow acquire him. Well, let's get in to the game. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray. Hopefully, we can get a win because, I mean, again, fourth place is what we're going for, and we're only two points off. So, the initial 11 for the home side. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all So annoying. I, Troy, I think Troy Dean would fit in so well with this team. Yeah, 
certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. If you guys have seen any of the last episodes, you'll know that this team is perfectly constructed. All right, just the way that we played, that the team plays together, especially against a three-back. I'm probably expecting us to score three or four goals. Especially if we're going to be pressing up high like this. Good job, Konate. Otic. Otic. Oh. That was almost an amazing goal from Otic. Oh, wait, Ida. How then? Huh? <laughs> That's... That seriously did not go in. Wonderful challenge and a throw in. How? That was. How did that not go in? There we go. Promising attack this. But a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Dini. And played the pass well. Good challenge there. What happened? Oh, we hurt one of their players. Oh. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Yeah, and it's our ball. Oh, Rusu. He's a good player. Uh, I'm sorry, not sorry, though. Go inside now, we turn around. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yes, Summers run. Otic. How have we not scored yet? Like, this is a genuine question. No! Hotich is not allowed to be hurt. Especially this late in the season while we're still making a push. I never gave him permission to be hurt. Well, he... 
Anybody else? Sure. Why Hotic? The dude is literally our like pretty much our entire offense. Yeah, just play back to the keeper. Let's just take a moment to relax. Oh, Hotus is fine now. Ah, Van de Bruges. Ah, Summers, no. Try to jump that pass, didn't work. What, what just happened there? I do not understand. Just whip it in the box. Someone's got to be in there. Ida was, but could not exactly get things to work. Sides per per four. You're kidding. How how are they up one nothing right now? How do they scored? How do they have the only goal this well, entire game? Really well to get his head up, pick out a teammate. But then there's plenty to do from there. He hit it so well, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. A chance then for the respective managers to address their job. Zini. This game could come back to bite us in the butt if we are not able to pull out a victory. <gasps> How? Oh, geez, Troy Dini. I'm gonna start a fight. Ooh, ooh. Ah, we're being cut out. We're being countered. Not very quickly, though. that out over the bar now our nice thing about having Ida is dude can win just about every aerial duel Good challenge. 
I didn't go through. Uh, I forgot Ida. Uh, he cannot shoot, or he cannot pass. Like, at all. I like, think his passing is 40. But, man, can he shoot. I mean, exactly what we want from a striker. Big, tall, pat, big, tall, fast. Only thing he can't do is pass. But we're not he's not on a specific development plan. His passing ability will just naturally increase as he gets better. What? Okay, so this is... Oh, jeez. So I think this might be, like, the most glitchy game of 3-5 probably ever played. And win the header. It's ours, right? Oh. No. No. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Why is just nothing this game going our way? I physically want someone to watch back the film and explain to me how we lost. Like someone at EA. Any EA people out there watching this. I'm not saying this is your game's fault. But I, just, I don't understand why my players just suddenly stopped playing. How come in every game, when you're pushing for that final goal, when you're down one nothing, they score two nothing, you suddenly, for some reason, your players just stupidly turn the ball over, and they just give up, and you can see a third goal. Like, go check out my channel, run back the film. This is not a new phenomenon. Handballer. Let's go, Ida. Can't bring this man down. Alexander Corrine. Also, then Ida. Thundering. Jeez, that would have finish. No, pick up the ball. Ah, oh, idiot. Ida's on fire. Oh. Ditch. Get that ball. We're not done. Let's 
game is so scripted. Like I'm just saying, this game is so scripted. All of this, these last five minutes have shown FIFA is a scripted game and we should be winning. I hate this game. In your category, we say FIFA. I feel like FIFA is the most scripted it's been in a while right now. Like I know FIFA 20 was, no, FIFA 19 was terrible. FIFA 20 was bad, but I feel like 70th minute and beyond, it's currently the most scripted game I've ever played. Merci à vous d'avoir accepté de nous répondre avant de regagner le vestiaire. Yes, Hotich is still amazing. We all know that. I mean, it's so funny that Hotich is... I mean, he scores so many goals, but his shooting is the, his worst stat. Let's see what this youth scout was saying. Another thing, probably could have used last game. I was not having not the in center mid. He's a very good defensive mid. I'll give him that, but center mid does not fit in. Merci à vous d'être ici. Nous allons pouvoir commencer. Voilà. Come on, boys. Let's win this game. We're making that final push. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. But we're making a final push. Denki. Oh, I was fully, ro I was fully prepared to roast him. How about a two-year loan? I don't think we're making it. That was a really good season, though. I 
and we're able to pretty definitively prove we're not we're not a tiny club anymore. You know, we mean business. You know, we're big. We're big time. Just not big enough quite yet. Travis is going to be going out on loan. Good. <sighs> so that's going to conclude a... I wouldn't even call it a depressing episode. Just kind of a... Kind of a lacking episode. There was a lot more that we could have done, but I mean, hey, if this one if this was easy, we would have won, we would have won the league. But anyways, I hope you guys all have enjoyed. We'll probably wrap up the season in the next episode. And until then, it is J Beebs signing off.